Well, that broke up anyway because I ended up in a fist fight in Atlanta in the street. What the hell? Yeah, there's a whole. Where oh, did yeah. this come from? And I, and, and all the time I've known you, you've hid this from me. Come on, it, it, tell it, me this story. A fist you fight were, in the street. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want? You really want to hear it? Yes, okay. yes. We must hear it. So it was. Um, so it was like the hundred year anniversary of Coca Cola. Uh, it was a big well, old parade. Well, I can see why there was a fight or something, right? You were fighting some Seven Up guys, right? <laughs> <laughs> that's it. That's it. <laughs> and so they asked us to go be in the parade, uh -huh. and we had a publicist and the publicist's assistant and the publicist's boyfriend, and they're driving us all over town, and everybody's buying us drinks. So we are three seats to win. I mean, just like, woo! <laughs> and we're driving in the car, and we're driving down the highway. It's like two lanes going this way, and it's fast. And this car full of guys pulls up, and I guess one of them, I didn't remember this, but Carlo remembers, moons us. What? And he is. Well, it was the 80s. <laughs> and he is drunk, and he's from the Bronx. So he crawls over me. You over. learned a lot about people from looking at their ass. <laughs> I mean, that's, a, that's a lot of information. So he rolls down the window and he just starts in on the, you motherfucker, you know, the whole Bronx thing. And I'm like, shh, because I'm looking over there. There's five guys in the car. And so they start hitting us, like trying to hit us with the car. And we can't come to a stop sign, and everybody gets out. And he crawls over me and gets out, and I'm trying to pull him back like this. And the driver of the other car gets up, and he just keeps standing. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, this isn't going to be good. He was way over six feet tall and well built. And Carlo was like, you know, five eight. And yeah, he knows karate, but. Couldn't even on his best day get his leg yeah. up to the guy. <laughs> I don't know how you just did that. <laughs> you have to and take so, to the hospital and sew my leg back on if I even tried that. Don't try it. I won't. Don't worry. <laughs> so, don't worry, boys. We're all going to stay together. <laughs> all right. So he gets out of the car, like looking for a fight, and I'm trying to pull him back in. So I get out after him, and by that time, the, the driver gets out. And he takes me and he shoves me into the arms of the other guy that got out of the back seat and just pops my boyfriend in the face. And I'm like, oh, I've, I've never seen a fist fight. And I just went, oh, oh. And then the guy who has me sets me aside and goes over to help. And I'm like, no, like you, there can't be two and three and four and five on one. So I throw him up against the car. Damn. And, and we start going. <laughs> oh my God, yes. Now this is good television, everybody. Here's what you won't see on the other shows. I didn't know what else to do. I mean, what are you going to do? Just lay there and go, ah. I, I love that you're like, no, I throw him up against the car. And we're both starting to go. I didn't cool. know. I had no idea yeah. that this part of you existed. So what happens then? Yeah. So then I, Carlo looks over and goes, Nia! And I look at him, and as he's looking at me, the guy just pops him again, and he just, it was, he was like one of those cartoons. Zoop! Legs up in the air, floats for a minute, and it's like, boom, down to the floor, blood all over his white shirt. And then the guy bends over to pick him up and start, and I'm like, no! And I'm running over in my candy. You remember those shirts? <laughs> Like I have skin tight skinny jeans on and, and candies, and the guy is so big I have to jump up to get in his chest. And I'm like, get back in your car, get back in your car. And he's looking at me like a little chihuahua, going, oh. <laughs> and by that time, all the other people were getting out of their cars to break it up, and he just like looked at me and got back in his car, and they drove off, and I had to pick him up off the floor, put him in the back, and go to the hotel. I lost the key. I had to go to the front <laughs> desk. I had blood all over my shirt. Like, oh, I need a key to room. Oh, my God. That was the beginning God. of the end. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, at least you got a good story out of it. Yeah, it was hey. a great story. Yeah. Good. <laughs>
We salute your violence. No, it wasn't uh, It was protection. No, it was. But no, I love that. I want to see if something happens to me. I'm pretty sure that Lori will just leave me hanging out there. I don't <laughs> think so. I know, Lori. I don't think so. So that was the beginning of the end. Of, why was that the beginning of the end of the relationship? Because he, the way he threw himself into a fight, it wasn't the right thing. And then we went back to the hotel and he called his brother-in-law in New York. Frankie! Frankie! I know who they are. And Frankie's like, I've got a gun. I'm coming. I'm like, oh, no. Oh, they all said, <laughs> that would have been the end. Yeah, that would have been the end for yeah. me, too. Yeah. yeah. It was just different. But, yeah. Yeah. You know. I mean, wow. he changed a lot over the years. For sure. I don't even know where to take it from here. I'm just like, I know. I'm alive. <laughs> did you have? Did you? Did you ever? Did you? Did you ever have an, another fist fight ever in your life? After that, no. I had. I I punched one person nice. in the nose before yes. that. Tell me that story. That was my. Well, I was the shy one in my family. Uh huh. So I was. You know, my parents were really worried about me because I would cry when I saw people being mean to each other, and they're like. You know, she can't negotiate life. But my little sister got into a fist fight with the big girl down the street. And I just went, fuck. So I said, all right, you hurt her. You got to fight me. That's what an older sister is supposed to do, I guess. <laughs> so she knocked the wind out of my fist. And I just went, okay, I told you. And she's like, yeah, come on, come on. And I just went, bam. And she could do it was go right through her and like right at, I cut her right there and, she, and her eyes rolled back and she just went, <laughs> and, she went and I was like oh. and then all the kids went running to my mom to my house and they're like Mrs. Peoples Mrs. Peoples Mia punched Paula Rudy in the nose and my mom goes Mia <laughs> and they said yeah and she started to laugh <laughs> I was like, oh, I guess we better go talk to her mom. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I, just, I, it, I was so afraid of fighting that all I could do was Fight? give it everything. <laughs> yeah. Just, and it was the yeah. right thing to do. Like, it, I didn't know what else to do to defend my sister. Wow. That's beautiful. Mm -hmm.